Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQB08, we are continue talking about data transformation. In this video, we are going to see how we can append data from three different tables. In this video, we have an example of three year sales in three separate tables. Number of columns in each table is not the same. One of these tables does not have the sales value. What we require is to calculate the sales value in one of the tables and then unify the number of columns in all tables so we can append all data together in one single table. If you want to follow along while watching the video or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. In the first table, you can see the sales for 2017. We have six columns. First one is the product ID then the size and then the date then we have the quantity the price and finally the revenue for 2018 we have only four columns why because we have we don't have a column to calculate the sales revenue for 2019 we have only five columns because we don't have the column for the size however we have the revenue calculated inside this sheet so what we want to do is to get all this data together using the power query and put all of them inside this sheet called all sales so we're going to start with the first one it's already in a table form and you can check from the table design tab that we have a proper name for this data set called sales 2017 so i'm going to go to data ribbon from the left hand side i'm going to use the famous icon from table or range once i click on this icon it will trigger the power query editor on the right hand side i can see the properties started with the name of the query and then i have two steps in the applied steps first one is the source then excel try to detect the data type on the left hand side the first column i have the product id the type is one two three meaning whole number which is fine then i have abc meaning it is text for the size then date and time for the date i can change this to date only i'm going to select date and click power query will ask you if you want to replace the current step or not for me i'm going to replace and then let me check the quantity one to three whole number is fine price and revenue one to two meaning it is decimal which is okay for me as well i think i can go to close and load close and load two it will close the power query editor and trigger the import data window for this query i'm not going to load anywhere because i'm going to use it later in the append so i'm going to select only create a connection in this case this data will be saved in the back end of the excel workbook however it will not be loaded anywhere so i'm going to select only create connection and click on ok as you can see on the right hand side the queries and connection pane will appear and you can see one query created called sales 2017 let's do the same for the second table 2018 i'm going to select any cell inside this table i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut alt a p t it will do the same it will open the power query editor the name inherited from the name of the table which is okay and then change type automatically by excel let me change it and type to date only same as the previous one replace now i think i'm ready i can close close and load to it will open the import data dialog box only create a connection and ok on the right hand side you can see you have now two queries the same for the third table 2019 alt a p t on the right hand side the name is ok 2019 let's again change the date and time to date only close and load then close and load to and again I'm going to select only create a connection and OK. I have now three queries ready and all created as connection only. Now we are ready to start the append, the final step 
to append all these three queries into one query in order to do this i'm going to select again data ribbon and from get and transform i'm going to get data and i'm going to select combine queries and from combine queries i'm going to select append once i click on append a dialog box will pop in and will ask you how you want to append your tables or your queries i have two major options here first one is two tables or three or more tables for me i need more than two tables so i'm going to click on three or more tables on the left hand side you can see your three queries 2017 2018 and 2019 i want to select them all so i'm going to select the first one 2017 then click on shift and select the last one and now the three of them is selected i'm going to click on add you will find the three transformed to the right hand side click on ok the power query editor will launch again on the left hand side if you open this arrow you will see that we have now four queries the three original query and a new created one which is append you can see the name here in the query settings so i want to change this to have a proper name let me call it all sales and enter and now you can see here is all the data coming from the other three tables and you can see the data here coming in six columns and if we check one of these fields like the size if you open the filter button on the top of this column and for sure you'll find that the list is not complete because there is more data than that we have in this preview so in order to check all the data i need to click on load more if you click on load more you will find that power query will try to load the rest of the data and you can see that there is nulls and why we have nulls because we have only the size data for 2017 i'm going to cancel this and let me check something like the revenue if we click on the revenue also i need to first load more once i did the load more i'll find also some nulls as you can see here in this columns and why because 2018 we don't have a column to calculate the revenue so let me get rid of this step i'm going to use the red x to delete the filter now let's try to load this query although there is some issues in this query however we are going to load it so i'm going to close and load close and load to the dialog box will open again import data this time i'm going to select a table existing worksheet let me select all sales sheet on the top left and then i'm going to click on ok the query will be loaded to a table in all sales sheet let me check as you can see a new table created and the 208 rows now loaded we agreed that there is some issues in this data so the revenue column is not complete and also the size column is serving only 2017 so i want to start to edit my data and do some changes so i'm going to double click on the first query 2017 from the queries and connection pane the power query editor will relaunch again in 2017 i need just to get rid of the size column so i'm going to select it from the header and right click and i'm going to select remove column now i have this column removed i need to do some changes in 2018 i can use this arrow on the right hand side to expand and then select 2018 the problem in 2018 that i don't have a column with the revenue but i have the price and the quantity i can do a calculation based on these two columns usually i use add column and then add custom column and from custom column i can add a formula to multiply these two columns together however in this case i'm going to use a different option i am going to select the two columns from the header i'm going to select the first one and then click on control and select the header of the second one now i have both of the column selected i'm going to add columns from standard i'm going to select multiply 
once I click on this a new column will be created called multiplication and I have the results of the multiplication of the two columns calculated in this field no further changes required in 2018 let's check 2019 I think 2019 also is okay no changes required as well I think now I am ready I can just close the power query editor from the top once I click on this X it will ask you if you want to keep your changes or you want to discard for sure I want to keep my changes I'm going to click on keep all the changes will be saved I have all the three queries appended I want to reflect the changes in the appended query so I'm going to select this icon and click on refresh the query will be reloaded as you can see here the 208,000 rows will be reloaded and also the table will be updated to reflect the changes happened in the three other queries now the table is updated as you can see here I don't have the size column however I have the revenue on two columns and this is not what I want exactly I think the issue because I don't have the identical name of the headers meaning that if you want to append you need to make sure of two things at least that the headers of the three tables the three appended tables are identical meaning that if you have the header called revenue and the R is capital it need to be revenue with R capital why because also power query editor is case sensitive and also you need to make sure that the data type is identical otherwise errors will happen or as as what happened with us here a new column will be created and the data will not be appended correctly so now we want to edit the 2018 again I'm going to select and double click the power query editor will launch again the only change I want to make here is just to rename this column double click on the header type revenue and enter now I'm ready to close and load and you can see here all the changes saved I just need to refresh the append query I can just do it from the table this time right click and click on refresh the table will be updated again as you can see the query is loading again the 208 rows okay the multiplication column disappeared and all the revenue coming in the same column and if you check the filter there is no nulls anywhere in this column now our data is ready we managed to append the three tables in one big table and all the data is identical and all comes through together with the same number of the columns and also we managed to calculate in the power query we managed to calculate the revenue in one of this table the next step is to create a pivot table however if you look at the left hand side the first column is only the codes of the product if I want to do a proper reporting I need to bring in the names of these products and also maybe the categories but this data will not be in the same worksheet it will be coming from other table and this dimensional or lookup table need to be merged with this query in order to get the correct names in the report and this will be the subject of next video pqb09 we are going to talk about transform data again this time we are going to see how we can merge queries how we can get data from one table to the other table and how we can replace the VLOOKUP the normal VLOOKUP in the Excel inside the power query itself and finally if you subscribe yet to the channel please subscribe and like the video if you like it and leave me a comment thank you very much for your time hope that was useful for you and see you in next video and bye